Put a smile on your face When you're moving from place to place, place. Good morning, good morning Welcome back, viewers. Before we go to our next guest, I just want to give some shout outs. You know, we have our loyal viewers um, Pearl Murray Baird, Travis Moses, Renwick Job. We even have Errol Brebner, who is viewing from Curacao this morning. All right, Joel Tate, and all the others. Thank you for choosing to start your morning off with us. And sitting next to me in studio is Mr. Denley Grant from the NSD Cycle Squad. All right, so again, we're here to talk about what's happening this weekend, another event. So you have to choose wisely, right? This one, I think it's not just about hanging out, but it's about getting fit as well. So let's hear more about this. So NSD Cycle Squad, what does the NSD stand for? Well, NSD Cycle Squad stands for new sites and destinations. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we... we it, it came out from a, a love of the sport cycling. Right. Uh, myself and some other teammates who are part of the executives. Um, we saw the need for a cycle club in Tobago. I mean, there isn't any prominent one. There has been cycle squad in Tobago. but uh, So we, we see the need and we went ahead with the idea. So, and just... January of this year, so we are in our very infancy street stage. Right. Um, we got registered as a non-profit organization. Okay, that's good. And so we're, we're building slowly, but surely we have um, 10 registered members on the club thus far. Okay. And so this is our first, actually, our first annual event. We want right. to make it a yearly thing. Good. So it's our first annual event, our first time at doing something like this. Mm -hmm. NSD Cycle Squad, um, so it's on Gloria Saturday, um, and it's it's interesting. It's it's interesting, and it promises to be an interesting one, I should say. Right, and you know, you mentioned y'all are now starting off, but you must start somewhere. Mm -hmm. You know, what are some of the the goals that this cycle club wants to achieve? Well, <clears throat> well, one of the goals really is mm -hmm. to bring international cyclists to Tobago and cycling to Tobago. A lot of Tobago cyclists has had to leave Tobago to go to Trinidad for race. And one of the things we want to do is have more race on the island, mm -hmm. which of course would boost tourism because we know cycling. Um, there are a lot of international races that goes on. So we want to attract international cyclists to come and take part in our cycling events here in Tobago. So far, we're looking at two annual events. The first one being this Saturday, the Criteria, mm -hmm. criteria in um, Roxborough. We are looking at having a Criterium in Crown Point later down in the year, as well as we're also looking at a around the island, really, cycling kind of really. Right. So we have plans to, you know, expand and expand and right. make, it, make it attractive as it were, mm -hmm. so that others could be flying into Tobago to take part in cycling rather than flying out. Right. So let's talk about the event happening this Saturday, March 30th. Um, where is it? What does it entail? And what time? Okay. So the event this Saturday is at Roxborough. Um, the meeting point is at the Sid Gray Stadium car park. Um, it's, it's, it's for ages... From seven and under up to the adult, we have categories for seven and under, 12 and under, 17 and under. We have races for all these categories and there are cash prizes to have. The races just around that Roxborough circuit, starting by the fire station, mm -hmm. going up by the hospital, coming through by the Argyle waterfall and coming back out to the Windward Main Road. Uh, Ten laps of that is the is a big race, so to speak. All right. Um, we have, so far, over 10 persons already registered for that race. And so, it, as again, it promises to be very much interesting. Mm -hmm. And what time does this begin? It's 7 p.m. It's a night event. So, yes, it's 7 p.m. So, persons can come with their family and take it in. And, yeah. And in terms of safety, because we're looking at 
um, racing or riding at night, what is in place? Right. So, so the, the course is well lit with street lights. It's, it's a well lit course and mm -hmm. there would be police on site as well. There would be fire service. The ambulance would be there. So, so it's, it's promises to be a safe one. Right. So uh, the big question is, because there are people like me who hear these events and get excited, but we're talking about riding bike. Is it that I have to have a certain type of bike or if I have a little BMX bike or a mountain bike I didn't use for the last year, can I pull it out and register and be a part of this event? Yes, you can. We, we're just asking all persons who want to take part so to have like a, a bike light because it's in the okay. night. So just have a light in front and in the back. Um, yes, the, the circuit is well lit, but we, we ask all persons, come with your BMX, mm -hmm. come with your mountain bike. It's really so all. I mean, do, I mean, you would see all kind of bikes up there. We, <laughs> we encourage you to come up and bring it out. Right. <laughs> and, and is there a cutoff time and what's the fee to register? Okay. So, so yes, it's, it starts at seven and it, it finishes at 11. Um, registration is 150. Um, we had, we have a, a late registration fee that we took off because the reason we had the penalty is to encourage early registration. Right, so you know how to cater. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, uh, right? but, I don't think but, that works with us here on the island. <laughs> clearly it doesn't. <laughs> clearly it doesn't. So that was the reason for the late registration penalty. But right. yeah, nobody really bought into it. So right. it's it's fixed at 150. Okay. So you come up, you get registered and you take part. And there would be refreshments, there would be music. There would be entertainment. Right. Again, another family event. Yeah. If you're from the area or Crown Point, wherever, you're looking for something to do Saturday evening, 7 p.m. in Roxborough. For those of you who want to be a part of the races, 150 is your registration. And what's a phone number? Because somebody might be listening and they would like to give, a, give you guys a call. Right. So you can contact us at 685-7884 or... That's 685-7884. All right, viewers. So if you want to be a part of this again, um, you have children, they have their bikes, they're probably promising to take them riding for the Easter. You can start right here. It's going to be safe. Police officers in place, well-lit course. And it can be a start to something promising for you or for your child. Some hidden talent or skill might be discovered that Saturday evening. Yeah. So come on down and let's support this group, NSD Cycle Squad, as yeah. they continue to do something new on the island. So thank you very much for letting us know about this. Thank you. And of course... You know, all the guests you are indoctrinated in this. Anytime we go to a break, we say, share the life. So let's go, Mr. Grant. Share, share the, the life. life. Share, share the, the life. life. Share, share the, the life. life. You also will be right back. <laughs>